When it comes to the reptiles of Madagascar, Madagascar could very easily be called the land of chameleons. There are more chameleon species here in Madagascar than anywhere else in the world, and some of them are the most beautiful, colorful, and well, downright weird chameleons with strange adaptations that allow them to fit perfectly into their environment here in Madagascar. So here is the top five weirdest chameleons that we encountered on our expedition here in Madagascar. I'm Dave Kaufman, and these are my reptile adventures. The lesser chameleon, or sometimes called the minor chameleon, lives in dry arboreal habitats, which unfortunately are now fragmented by grasslands that used to be thriving forests. And the most notable feature of the male is that rostral appendage, or rostral process. Rostral meaning region of the nose. Males like this one can grow up to 24 centimeters, while females tend to be approximately smaller, right around 16 centimeters. This chameleon mainly lives in the arboreal habitats of humid montane forests between the ranges of 1,000 and 1,650 meters above sea level. The massive deforestation in Madagascar may not be as big a problem for these chameleons as it is for most of Madagascar's wildlife, as these lizards have been known to colonize pasture land and other human disturbed agricultural areas. So the lesser chameleon here in Madagascar makes our list at number five of the top five jumpiest chameleons here. <sighs> So coming in at number four, have a look at this girl. This is an elephant ear chameleon, and they've got these appendages on the back of their head like that, and they can flare those out when they're agitated like that. Look at that. And that's exactly why these are called elephant ear chameleons. These are one of the strangest and most awesome chameleons that you can find here in Madagascar. This happens to be a female, and this is female coloration. She also happens to be very gravid right now. Chameleons often have numerous common names, and that's why most people just use the scientific name. And that being said, the elephant-eared chameleon is also known as the short-horned chameleon. These are known as occipital-lobed kaluma chameleons, and they are found from the north to the south of the island along the east coast rainforests. And as I mentioned, the most distinctive features of the short-horned chameleon are its large, ear-like occipital lobes, and it flares them with the same purpose a frilled dragon uses its neck flaps to make them look much bigger than they actually are. Now, males of the species will look very different than the females with different coloration. They'll actually have an appendage on their nose. The slightly larger males generally have more of an orange-colored head, a red rostral process or nose, and bright blue legs and those colors become even more vibrant in the company of a receptive female. This is one of the weirdest and coolest chameleons that you can see here in Madagascar. Zilla has everything you need for your reptile pets, from caging to lighting and everything in between. To see their entire catalog and find out where you can get Zilla products near you, visit zillarules.com. So coming in at number three, look at this little dude. This is a pimple-nosed chameleon. But this is a female, and this is an adult. And look at how tiny she is. And this is a small species of chameleon with a total body length of eight to 10 centimeters. And these can appear drab, but when fired up, they can show vibrant turquoise blue bands on their body. Much more work needs to be done to determine its proper name and classification. And right now, it's thought that this is a complex of several species. So keep an eye out for the possibilities of several new described species to come from this group. These chameleons have a very small range in Madagascar, currently only known around the Andasabe National Park on the eastern mountains of Madagascar. This chameleon really represents that not a lot is really known about these small lizards yet, and there is much more work that needs to be done to fully understand them. And look at her nose. She has that appendage on her nose that gives her the name pimple-nosed chameleon. This is one of the most remarkable chameleons. Dude, we're gonna do this because you're gonna fall off my finger. But this is one of the most remarkable chameleons that you can find here in Madagascar, and that's why this comes in at number three of the top five weirdest chameleons to be found here in Madagascar. 
Coming in at number two is the fork-nosed chameleon. And look at that rostral process. When it comes to noses, this guy had a big one. This is one of those animals that the common name is not too far off from the scientific name. The genus name, Furcifer, which is actually pronounced Furcifer as there are no soft consonants in classic Latin. A lot of people think that it's pronounced Furcifer. It's not, it's Furcifer. But it's actually two Latin words smushed together. Furca, meaning two-pronged fork, and fur, meaning bearer. So together, the genus name means fork bearer. The species name, Bifidus, means forked. So this chameleon is named fork-bearing forked chameleon. But as I explained in other videos, the bigger your nose, the bigger your rostral process, the more attractive you are to females. And if that's the case, then this is the Brad Pitt of chameleons. But just look at that nose, which is there two minutes early, wherever it goes. Uh, okay, uh, yeah. All right, so let's get serious for a second here, if that's at all possible, which it's probably not. So anyway, according to the IUCN, or the International Union for Conservation of Nature, it is ranked as least concerned, although that is rapidly changing. The maximum height for these chameleons has been found at 700 meters, or 2,300 feet above sea level. This guy has one of the biggest rostral processes, the biggest noses, in all of chameleons. And... Now, chameleons stress very easy, so I'm not gonna hold him much longer. And as you can see, his colors are really dark, really dull. He is not liking being handled, and he's showing me that by his coloration. His color is getting very dark and very drab, and he's communicating to me that he is not really appreciating me handling him. But I just had to show you guys one of the most amazing and unique chameleons that you can find here in Madagascar. So I'm gonna put this guy right back on the tree where we found him. Hopefully he's gonna have a long, happy life here in Madagascar. Such an incredible and unique chameleon. Enough said. Stay green, save green. So coming in at number one on our list of the weirdest chameleons found here in Madagascar is this guy. This is a yellow-lipped Parsons chameleon. And the reason why this makes number one is because this is the largest chameleon species in Madagascar. Parsons chameleons, named after the British physician James Parson, are amongst the largest chameleons in the world and certainly the largest by weight. Just look at how big and robust this lizard is. And he's just perfectly sitting on my hand, using that prehensile tail for ballast. Throughout Madagascar, there are more than just a few color variants like orange-eyed, yellow giant, and green giant. This one is a yellow-lipped Parsons chameleon. And this is one of the longest-lived chameleon species that can live for a minimum of nine years for males and eight years for females in the wild. But in captivity, they can live for up to 14 years, which is unique amongst chameleons. Parsons chameleons can lay up to 50 eggs per clutch, and those eggs can take up to two years to hatch. So if you're thinking about breeding these guys, you definitely need a lot of patience. So we've seen the top five weirdest chameleons in Madagascar, but none of them top this guy. And this is a bonus to our countdown. This is the famous Pinocchio chameleon. This may be one of the most famous chameleons in Madagascar, and while some call it the Pinocchio or Cyrano chameleon because of its characteristic long nose, in reality, there is no real English name for this chameleon. It's just colloquially been called the Pinocchio chameleon. When these chameleons hatch, its characteristic nose is flexible, and it unfolds and hardens within the first few days of its life. Only the males have that characteristic, colorful, long nose. The female's nose can be bright red and shaped more like a leaf or a button. Both sexes are the same size, just 11 centimeters long. They range along Madagascar's east coast on steep, really difficult to access slopes with extremely dense vegetation. Because of their small size, they are difficult to find and we were lucky enough to find both a male and a female on the same hillside. And sadly, like everywhere in Madagascar, their habitat is becoming more fragmented every year, making it difficult for the individuals to find each other. And therefore, this chameleon is listed as endangered 
There is so little known about this amazing chameleon, and unfortunately, they may be lost before much more is known about them. But this is by far the weirdest chameleon to be found here in Madagascar, the Pinocchio chameleon. So although this was the top six of the weirdest chameleons we encountered on our expedition here in Madagascar, there are so many other chameleon species that could have made this list. And we'll meet some of those chameleons in future episodes. So guys, I just real quick want to give a shout out and a thank you to all my Patreon supporters. If you would like to become a Patreon supporter and support reptile education on this channel for as little as $3 a month, you can get early access to videos, rattle on swag, and so much more. That link is in the description below if you would like to become a Patreon supporter. Guys, hit that subscribe button when you do hit that bell so you never miss an upload. Leave me a comment below. Let me know what your favorite Madagascar chameleon is. And as always, thanks for watching. And until the next reptile adventure, love the planet, feed your reptile obsession, and rattle on.